In a previous video about Project EPIC, I misspoke a couple of times, which leads us to this errata video to correct those. For example, I said, Velocicoaster is so popular, Universal is spending millions of dollars right now to build a new coaster shed. <coughs> that is incorrect. In fact, I got it backwards. It is not Velocicoaster that's getting the new coaster shed. It is Hagrid's. And I know this because I follow BioReconstruct on Twitter, and he posted, look, two minutes after I looked for this, it was posted. This is where the new coaster building is going. That was just a senior Listexic moment. I also said, Universal Music Group, same company owns the park. <coughs> also incorrect. I misattributed ownership of Universal Music Group to Comcast, which is the parent company that owns Universal um, Destinations and Experiences. And when you look at these logos, it's, I mean, they're so different. Obviously, they're different companies, right? I mean, when, when you look at them side to side, oh, yeah, yeah, there's, there should be no confusion at all between these two entities. But no, in fact, Universal Music Group is used to be Decca Records and is now owned by, look at that logo, seriously. What do these people have against Central and South America? Mexico's gone, the Amazon is gone. It's the same logo. I did a rant on this in the other video. But anyway, this company is owned by Vivendi, a French company. And um, for those of you that may not be old enough to remember, back in the 90s and the aughts, uh, a lot of companies went through fruit basket turnover about who owns who, but even, you know, even with that mistake, it doesn't uh, alter the fact that this is a totally banging idea for a living entity with the Star Theater. Now, in another previous video, my pitch for the Lands of Zelda, I said, similar to the Magic Bands, <coughs> also incorrect. These are not those. These are power-up bands. It clearly says it in red on your screen. See? Now, when I was discussing this attraction for the Zelda Lands, I accidentally misspoke and said, everything on the left gets moved to the right. <coughs> Minor, yet still incorrect. As you can see, these red arrows are clearly pointing from right to left where I misspoke and said left to right. So there. In better news, people seem to really like the idea for the night bus coaster. Um, I appreciate all the kind comments. I do think it's my one of my better ideas for that whole pitch. Uh, there were a few people that were not as excited about the Minion coaster, but I just really think this park needs to totally ball in coasters. And Minions has made enough money, so I think... It should be fine. And Men in Black certainly has its defenders. I never said it was a bad ride. And yes, it has more animatronics than just about any other ride in the park. Well, it definitely does. But it's old. The IP is tired. The ride manufacturer's out of business. And it doesn't sell wands. So I stand by my recommendation. If you haven't yet watched the previous video, or if you want to watch it again, I recommend listening at double speed. It's a better use of your time, and it's closer to what goes on in my brain. I recommend the same for the Lands of Zelda pitch. Crank it up to double speed. I'm currently finishing up the Great Universal Movie Ride Ride video, working on part two of Project Epic, and soon I will make a video explaining what's so epic about Epic Universe. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And to make up for the errors, here's some tunes on your way out.
you're still there. Keep hanging in there.